Hi all, so Sony's managed to cause its first major stink actually with its fan base. So we've all heard about SharePlay at Gamescom 2014, but now a few more details are actually starting to come out from the executives at Sony. So it would seem that SharePlay is limited to a maximum of 60 minutes in any one session. What we don't know is whether this means you will then have to ask to share again and your friend will have to accept and the uh, connection will have to be re-established. That seems to be the case. So unfortunately, it's, it's kind of bad on us for having assumed that Sony was going to do something really awesome here and not put a limit on there. So why do I think Sony have done this? What are the reasons why? Well, I think the main one is that they don't want to upset developers too much by essentially giving away free games, which is kind of what would happen if there wasn't any limit on there, if there wasn't a session limit. You could sit there for eight hours, play the game completely and never have to pay for it. Now. My flip side on that is, if my friend brings the disc round for me, I can sit there and I can play the game until I've completed it and the developers will never get a penny out of me anyway. The other option here is that Sony doesn't want to effectively remove the need for PlayStation Now in the future. Obviously part of PlayStation Now is eventually it will start streaming all manner of Sony's games, PlayStation 4 included, in the future. But if they have a system where any game that's currently installed onto a PlayStation 4 can be shared for free unlimitedly with your friends it removes the need for the PlayStation Now service what you would have is one or two friends grabbing all of the games and then just being shared out effectively through the streaming service and of course the final reason that Sony are doing this is because there's no competition it's as simple as that they can put whatever arbitrary limit on there they want it's not like Microsoft has an answer that would say mean Microsoft can come back and say well, we're gonna do an hour and a half so Sony goes, well, we'll do two hours then, or one hour and 45 minutes. Essentially, with no competition, Sony can say, well, it can be 30 minutes, it can be 60 minutes, it can be 35 seconds if we feel like it. It's not like there's any competition there to kind of drive us to make this service better and to compete around this time limit. So what do you think? Did Sony pull the wool over our eyes a little bit, or were they simply keeping the negatives away from the event and the main tranche of mass journalism that was going on at the time? It certainly now seems that Sony has attempted to pull a bit of a Microsoft and a little bit of a bait and switch in for sorts, get everybody pumped up for this, thinking it's a fantastic thing, and then a couple of days later, hit everybody with the limits and a dose of reality. It's a little bit like the way Microsoft tends to do things, which is a shame, really. Sony, on this occasion, you've let us all down because you didn't communicate this one properly. You allowed expectations to become inflated and then you burst the bubble. Unfortunately, the backlash is all yours and all yours alone. Thanks for watching. Do please subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitch and please like and comment on these videos as well. We love to chat.